I'm going to talk about the right way to use a humeral fracture brace in this video. We designed this fracture brace in 1976. We published an article about it in JBJS in January of 1982. The participants in the study were Vert Mooney, myself, George Balfour, George Irons, an orthodist, and Milt Ashby, department chairman. Fracture bracing of the humerus is not all that new. There was a papyrus discovered from about 1600 BC that describes a linen dressing, not all that different from this humeral fracture brace. Fracture bracing is not for polytrauma. The patient needs to be able to sleep up in a chair with his elbow unsupported in traction and dependency. He needs to be, to be ambulatory. Many, if not most, complications of treatment of the humerus shaft are iatrogenic. People talk about manipulation. Why? If you put the patient up in a chair, leave the elbow unsupported, hold the wrist to the neck with a, with a collar and cuff, allow gravity to pull across the fracture, these fractures reduce. What about surgery? For most isolated shaft fractures, f surgery is unnecessary. It's meddlesome. It increases the complications, does not incre decrease the complications. How about cast? In the turn of the 20th century, 1900, 1910, Body casts were used for fractures. The non-union rate was terrible. As soon as we got away from doctors for these injuries, the complications went down. All right. Um, Lotus agreed to model for us, and we're going to demonstrate use of the humeral fracture brace. The uh, first step in applying the brace is to apply the two shells and it's adjustable through the sleeves. Depending upon which company you buy your brace from, it'll have elastic or non-elastic straps. The, the, the idea is to have the two shells snug, which will give compression to the fracture and will add some stability. I'm going to emphasize several times that the whole goal of fracture bracing is to facilitate extra exercises and it's with exercises that help heal, heal these fractures. The package insert on the humeral fracture base shows the sling as a simple loop. That's wrong. When we designed this brace 40 years ago one of the designers was a prosthetist. The idea for this sling is taken from upper extremity prosthetics. When you pin the cross of the sling, it makes a figure of eight. We pin it here. That makes a harness like you have with upper extremity prosthetics, and the brace does not slide down. Again, the whole purpose of this sling is to suspend the brace. It only works when it goes from back to front through the axle or the opposite armpit, crosses the back and goes to the front and is pinned at the center. If you make a simple loop, it's worthless. It's a harness type sling. It's important to note 
that fracture bracing is really ambulatory traction. You suspend the wrist from the neck. That creates a weight. The fracture, forearm, hand and wrist gives you traction if you're sitting up. If you're standing or sitting up in a recliner and the elbow is unsupported, the fracture is really in traction. A envelope sling which supports the forearm defeats defeats the treatment method. Absolutely do not put a pillow under the elbow. Absolutely do not use a sling. Suspend the wrist from a collar and cuff. There are three d typical deformities. If the fracture is bowed anteriorly, you increase the elbow flexion and that bowing will disappear. If the deformity is the other way, you drop the arm and that other bowing will correct. The most common deformity however is varus. The best way to correct varus is to markedly pronate the wrist and that will correct varus. The best one way to correct varus is to pronate the wrist. The best way to pronate the wrist in an ambulatory patient is to put a brace on, a canvas wrist brace, attach the sling through a safety pin in such a way that as the arm hangs it tends to rotate into pronation and that will correct the varus. Fracture bracing is all about exercises. The fracture brace really facilitates exercise. Non-unions are caused by the failure to exercise. There are two exercises that are worth doing. Simple shoulder pendulum exercises, shoulder circles, to prevent stiffness. If you go back in the old literature, shoulder stiffness was a huge problem, mostly because nobody ranged the shoulder. Biceps curls increase the blood flow around the fracture, which is where the fractures heal. So dynamic elbow flexion or even isometric elbow biceps exercises will promote healing. Bracing is all about the exercises. There are two exercises you want to get your patient to do, bend over. Exercise one. Exercise one is simple. Cogman exercises at the shoulder, which will prevent shoulder stiffness and will promote early healing. Exercise two is active biceps flexion exercises. Early, when these fractures are fresh, they hurt a bit. Many of our patients saw two, three physicians in the first day or two because of pain. That pain is generally gone within four or five days. The patients are then able to actively tension, isometric exercise their biceps. The patients that did best did their exercises aggressively. I recall one patient who came in at five weeks well healed complaining that the brace was getting in the way of his basketball. How do you know when your patient is healed? When the patient can do this, reach up over her head, that fracture is healed. 
It's a clinical diagnosis when the patient is adequately healed to do high five, they're healed. We've been using this brace for around 42 years. My personal experience is around 150 cases. We've had zero, zero non-unions, zero infections, no significant clinical deformities, none. We had only one delayed union, and that lady took three months to unite. I could not, for love or money, get her to do the exercises. As an aside, our fastest union was five weeks, and that kid came in complaining the brace was in the way of his basketball. We had two refractures. One guy fell off a brick wall. He was up on a six-foot wall and fell off. The second one got in a barroom brawl. Try treating your patients humeral shaft fractures with a brace. It's safe, it's effective, it's conservative, and the patient's like being treated non-operatively.